Hi, my name is Dr. Kenny Russell. I'm here with my wife, Haley. We're from God of Life Ministries International, and we put this daily devotion together to give you hope. We want to encourage you, for we know that the Word of God has a lot to say to you and to me. And as we make declaration of the Word, as we declare the Word together, as we speak the Word together, let us not give up meeting together, but let us encourage each other all the more as we see the day approaching. Hi and welcome to Word of God Speak. I'm Dr. Kenny Russell. And I'm Hayley Russell. And it's a blessing for us to be with you uh, for another uh, time in the presence of God together. Isn't it encouraging to come together to share in the Word, to encourage each other because none of us were called to stand alone. Mm. It says in the Word that, uh, that Christ is the vine and the Father is the gardener and we want to press in to the Word of God today. Mm. We're going to be reading from John uh, chapter 15 um, from verse 5 to verse 8 and I'm just going to read this to you. It says, I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he's like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be given you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. Powerful word. There's, there's just so many things that we can pull out of this word. I think what is awesome in this word is Christ is making it clear that we've actually got a choice, haven't we? We have a choice. Are we going to choose to remain in Him? And uh, Jesus is saying that there's, there's consequences of the choices we make. Mm -hmm. You know, the, 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 the things that we go through today are based on the choices we made yesterday. Well, it's also an aspect of trusting as well. That's right. We, you know, we always say, you know, can we trust God? Do we trust God? But the question here is, can God trust us? Mm -hmm. Can God trust you? You know, with the things that He's given us, or has He got to go and find someone else to give it to who's yes. going to do it? Now, there are times where things, you know, do get cut off and cut out of our lives, people, relationships, um, different projects, and, and it doesn't mean that they're unfruitful, no. but there does need to be a pruning. I mean, I love gardening, and I, I have to go around my garden <laughs> deadheading all my flowers and even though they still look they look okay if I don't pluck them off the rest of the plant will not grow it won't make, produce new buds and God is always looking for us to be producing reproducing well he wants us to be a fruitful people um, you know he wants us to bear much fruit mm. he, he wants us to be a people that live life to the full you know, the Word says that Jesus came to give His life and life more abundantly. And uh, Christ wants us to walk in the, in the abundance of life. Mm -hmm. And we want to encourage you. Well, sometimes people always also feel that, you know, they're not being fruitful in what they're doing for God. You know, That's they right. feel like, you know, um, perhaps, you know, I haven't been, haven't led anyone to Jesus. Well, it's, it's easy to introduce Jesus to people. But what we need to do is make disciples. And I was in a group where, you know, this, this lady was taking time every week to meet with a bunch of women and pray with them, pray for them, share a word in the, in the Bible with them. And, you know, she felt that she wasn't being fruitful. And, um, you know, she's, she was being fruitful. And I was able to be there and encourage her and say, you know, you are being fruitful because you're discipling. You're making disciples. And that's the key, and that's what we want to leave you with today because we're running out of time. We want to leave you with the, with, with the thought, make disciples, be a disciple of Jesus. Until next time, God bless. I want to encourage you to take advantage of Word of God Speak on the internet. Just imagine, you can watch this daily devotion at a time that suits you, and you can watch it over and over again. I want to thank you for being part of this series. Make it a daily part of your life and see together we can make a difference.